It was February 12th, 2017. I went surfing at Ocean Beach. San Francisco, like I had every weekend for 10 years. And uh, I fell and I went head first into the ocean floor with enough force to break my neck in eight places. Uh, the worst of the break was at my C3, which means you stop breathing as well, so paralyzed below my neck. I saw a body float up. A buddy of mine saw me from the beach miraculously and dragged me in, that's Chet White. I was able to run maybe 100 yards out, grab this body by the shoulder. There was actually a nurse on the beach who started CPR. And the paramedics showed up. Uh, and they whisked him away. Everything comes into focus and there's a doctor zooming in and he's saying, Mr. Barr, you've had a catastrophic neck injury, you're paralyzed from the neck down, you can't talk because you're intubated. When I got there, the first words he mouthed to me were, pull the plug, um, which I, was so shocking. And then my sons came and visited and that was very powerful. And then finally, Chet came in. He said, there's technology, new developments every day. Why would you throw in the towel? You've got nothing to lose. We heard about the Mayo stem cell trial. And at that point, it was game on. I actually got off the respirator, but I'm still completely paralyzed. But all of a sudden, things started happening. I could wiggle my toes, my feet, my arms a little bit. I think right around that time is when I grabbed a piece of chocolate and I put it in my mouth. Oh, that was here at home. But all of that progress stopped at six months uh -huh. and it flatlined. And that's when uh, Dr. Biden had us come out to Mayo. We wanted to intervene when that improvement was plateauing so that we don't let the trial take credit for improvement that would have occurred anyway. <sighs> it was really natural fit. Um, as we open the trial to offer Chris the chance to be patient number one. So we take a small amount of fat from the belly and those are mesenchymal stem cells. Those cells are then expanded in a petri dish um, in a culture setting. Once the cells expand out to 100 million cells, they are then injected into um, the patient's lumbar spine and the cells then migrate to the um, highest area of inflammation, their area of spinal cord injury. And I could feel it. I absolutely felt something in my legs. So literally two weeks, I do walk test, I do hand strength test, I do finger motor test. Every single one of them improved again by 25 to 50%. Clearly something happened. The cells helped regenerate, so they augmented uh, Chris's healing. The first time I started walking by myself, that was really something. This guy's getting faster. To be able to see him stand up and walk towards me was really just an extraordinary feeling. And I wanted all of the investigators in this space to see that. We got to actually walk around the table and shake their hands and they were blown away. I could tell them, look what you're doing is having impact and you're making a difference. It was pretty emotional for them and for us. We couldn't thank them enough, like what you're doing matters. You're changing people's lives. One, two, three, four. The recovery that he had was beyond our expectations and being able to see that is very gratifying. It's also important to keep in mind that not every patient will have this same benefit. In fact, up to a third of patients or more may have no impact whatsoever with this treatment. But these trials are what help us advance the field and how to help patients improve with a spinal cord injury. Chet, thank awesome. God you were there, buddy. Hey, thank God. Uh, you know, it was my lucky day too, I promise you. I can't say it enough times that the stem cell regimen and protocol offers hope. The stem cell trial is such a huge part of that because, again, you know, the hopelessness of paralysis is just like, unlike anything you can imagine. And this is the hope.
it's nice to be able to come back here on my own two feet.